professionals. What are some secrets only those in your line of work would know of? We hate all of you. Sincerely. Retail. When you work in it. You don't need to know everything. You just need to know how to ask Google the right questions. I work in a bar. That bourbon and coke is really bourbon and Pepsi. I regret nothing. We know what you did on the internet. We just don't actually care unless it causes us to have to work any. Sis admin. Stripper here. Make the customer think that he actually has a chance with you. Designer here. I factor an extra cost into my quotes for your inevitably stupid and unreasonable request near the end of the job. I do sound production work. Recording bands. If the singer is being an asshat. We can edit the, the key of their voice that they are hearing through the headphones with the music. This essentially makes it impossible for them to sound good. Because they are not actually singing what they are hearing themselves sing. Then we blame it on them. We are lovely people really. Just be nice to us and anyone else who's just trying to do their job. ACMT Tech in LA Apple Store. When we repair your laptop. We sell you new parts. We then take your old parts to our GSX refurbishers who then give it to third party mom and pop shops to repair for pennies on the dollar. We then take the repaired parts and build out refurbished units to sell for 10% cheaper than it would cost for a new laptop. Totally uninteresting line of work. But I wouldn't have probably ever figured this out. A plain 2x4 piece of lumber is not 2 inches by 4 inches wide. It's 1.5 by 3.5. Nuclear power has the potential to be entirely safe and economically viable. People who try to talk to me about the dangers of nuclear power. I instantly assume they are stupid. Edit, yes. All of you who keep telling me about Fukushima and Chernobyl and the other scary dangers of nuclear power I assume you are stupid. To those who are truly curious. Thank you for allowing me a continued faith in humanity. Chef here. You eat why I'm more salt and fat when you eat at restaurants instead of eating at home. That's why it tastes so duckin' good. Service industry, most of us are high. Drunk or in a bad mood. We're really good actors. Financial aid counselor here. Schools sometimes admit students to fill their quota but will give them such terrible financial aid packages that they simply cannot attend. It's called admit deny. My university tried this with me. I had awesome grades. But a teacher at my high school decided to call every university I applied for and tell them how horrible I was. So I was admitted to the place I wanted. But they offered zero financial aid and the absolute worst loan package I've ever heard of. I went anyways. Paid my fees out of pocket. Started a small business at 15 and had enough to pay for my first year. Then I marched up to the honors program advisor and demanded that they let me in. Even though I wasn't on the recommendation list. The guy liked my spark, I guess, and let me join. Then I proceeded to show up the university something fierce. Organized so many clubs. Made so many friends and fans. Got the whole administration to like me, besides two teachers who I just couldn't figure out how to charm, and graduated in three years. Robbing the school of a fourth year of tuition. Might be poor as sheet now. And the university might not really care or change their policies. But I like that I was able to give them a big middle finger. I'm a normal human being. With feelings. Hopes. And dreams. Also. Ponies. Rainbows. Puppies. And unicorns are quite nice. Sincerely. A cop. At movie theater concession stands. Product is not inventoried. Only containers. The bag costs more than the popcorn in it. You know the crossword you can mail into your local paper for the chance to win a lottery ticket or whatever? We don't actually check the answers. We pick a person in at random and if the name sounds new, itch, you win. As a chemist. There is a lot of things we talk about for fun. A lot of them can hurt you. Some can injure you. A few can make you high. We don't share these things with non-scientists. If a few of us ever got together and decided to do bad things it would be stupidly easy. 
We probably never will because we're more interested in science and bobs. Immunologist here. Sometimes. It is lupus. As seen on TV products sold at trade shows exhibitions a complete sheet. The sales pitch is always filled with complete bullshit. Source, I've been selling this sheet for years. If you ask for a specific pain medication. It sets off red flags. And you most likely won't get it. You're paying for 4 hours of labor. I'm really only working on it for maybe 10 minutes. I work in it. If you send in a ticket. Saying you are having an error. But don't include the error. I assume you are stupid. Hypothetically speaking. If you were to build a list of senior citizens in your area that clearly suffer from some form of mental illness. Compile their names and addresses. And send them a letter in 12 point font on nice paper claiming the government wants to screw up their retirement or healthcare. You could easily get many of those senior citizens to mail you back money if you promise that you're from some sort of non-profit or lobbyist firm that wants to keep everything the way it is. Do this enough times and expand to the entire nation. Focusing in parts of the country that have a large number of retirement communities. And your income will multiply. Follow that up with a cheap website that rips social security news directly from Google News or Drudge Report. And get a subscription to a congressional news site like CQ.com or Politico. Which can give you the names of various staffers in Congress who work on healthcare issues. Buy them all lunch from Red. Hot. And Blue, a favored DC area barbecue restaurant. And call it a meet and greet function and they are guaranteed to show up. Documented heavily with photos that you will send out in your newsletter as a sign of progress that you are making. Congratulations. For the cost of a lunch and some mass mail projects you just became a Washington DC lobbyist earning millions of dollars a year. And yes. This does happen. A lot. Second job is as a bartender cocktail waitress. When you buy us shots we have a false bottle of every well liquor behind the bar and we make ourselves a false one to take shots with. The homemade iced tea at Chinese takeout delivery restaurants is not made from specially blended. Homegrown ancient Chinese secret herbs and spices. Prepared during daily morning ritual ceremonies of meditation and spiritual reflection. It's just store bought instant tea powder and tap water. They sell it because it's a higher profit margin than canned soda. Body disposal isn't as hard as they make it out to be in the movies. High school teacher, if I have a student who is a hot mess. I immediately assume their parents are ducked up in some way. It has always been true. If your nurse isn't running to your bedside it's a really good sign. Childcare, your child is lying to you. Don't use a financial planners. We are nothing more than glorified salesmen and will always push on products that will bring in the most amount of money. We definitely do care and we will come across as though we have your best interest in mind but at the end of the day you are nothing more than a walking money bag to us. Everything we do you can do on your own with a bit of research. If you need to talk to a planner. Please make sure they don't charge any trail commissions on any money you invest through them and only a lump sum amount up front those commissions are being paid for no advice whatsoever well it's not that nobody else knows this but here goes anyways when booking a hotel room always and I mean always try to get a better rate hotels negotiate rates all the time don't want to pay $159.95 you could probably get it down to $119.95 be warned. This can work both ways. If a hotel is almost fully booked they are perfectly within their rights to charge you extra if you walk in without a reservation. Not my most recent job. But I worked as a beer wine merchandiser in college. Best time of my life. When the beer we stopped expired it had to be returned to the warehouse. Where it would sit and either, a, uh, get bought for one dollar case. Or, b, stolen. Note that the beer was perfectly drinkable and tasted fine. I would spend 50 bucks and my fridge would be stocked for the quarter. Hook up people's house parties. And sell a few to acquaintances for a nice markup. So many negative things in this thread. Here's a neat positive one. 
As a conductor, you have no idea how much nuance goes into conducting a musical ensemble. If they are good, and the conductor is good, a one inch difference in how she moves her hands can significantly change the music. We do a lot more than wave our arms to keep people on the beat. And it's all the nuanced stuff that makes music great to listen to. I work in aviation. Both civilian and military. The military wastes more money than you can possibly imagine. Jobs done safely by one or two guys in the civilian world are done by five in the military. Also, the military is so far behind in any technology not make sheet go boom based it's ridiculous. And it's entirely because the system rewards keep your head down. Find reasons what we have now is better. Don't rock the boat. This goes both for desk job decision makers and people out on the flight line. I can walk into a military base with 20 plus year old technology. And they look at me like I'm from the future. A huge portion of the support equipment in the military is 1960s technology. Because that's the last time anyone dared innovate, Vietnam. I have customers with 9 identical vehicles. Only 2 functioning. And those only because the other 7 were stripped for parts, the manufacturers went out of business 20 pluses ago. There's perfectly acceptable replacements available, and widely used, in the civilian world, but that'd mean changing something. My personal favorite is how much lying goes on about certain things. You can look at say, a spreadsheet detailing diesel use for a certain vehicle across the military. Hundreds of vehicles. And many will have records showing hundreds of hours of use and zero fuel consumption. It's because the things burn so much, they are ancient and inefficient, the guys on the ground would rather lie and say they are burning X amount of fuel over 15 vehicles than this hog burns 5 times what we say. The others just sit and do nothing. This thread isn't full of trade secrets so much as people who do shitty work at their jobs or spend their time trying to exact petty vengeances. Handing over a patient, as a nurse. And part of the handover NQR. It's no official diagnosis. It's just saying they're not quite right. I.e. They're weird. Odd and messed up. But it's their normal. So not to stress. It's trivial to fix procedures. Policies. Processes. Workflows. Software. Interfaces. Inter-team communications and relationships. Training issues. Documentation. Full software environments. And even entire corporate cultures. The hardest part of any of this is finding anyone at the senior management level who can be convinced that the very environment which gives them a high level position. A nice office. And an exorbitant salary is broken and needs to be changed for the good of the company. The staff. And the product service and that this might involve spending money. Even if it's only a fraction of what is currently being hemorrhaged through diseased corporate teratomas. Even if we discover an awesome API, active pharmaceutical ingredient. If we can't produce it with an 80% profit margin. We won't make it. And if it's made. It's probably extracted from bacteria yeast. Yum. Sincerely. Biotech. Architects always know where the bathrooms are in a building at any given time. Large corporation software is helped together by spit and prayer because we have to keep legacy support and development happens where the money is. If you draw a picture of a stamp on a letter and fill it in with yellow highlighter the mail will sort and ship unless someone actually looks at the postage. Fluorescent yard is for everybody. Nice tip. But the time it takes to draw a passable looking stamp isn't worth the 45 cents. Fundraiser here. When we say donate now and your gift will be matched to one by the X Foundation. We already have the money from the X Foundation. They just signed a contract with their gift saying we could use their name for fundraising purposes. Similarly. We don't care if you really take the pledge or sign the petition. We just want your email address so we can send you fundraising appeals. We do still really need your support. But it always surprises me when people don't realize these things are just marketing ploys. As it production support. When I say that I'll check your issuer app. I actually mean that I'll just answer this question on RS credit and check it later. 
radiation oncology, researcher. But I work with our physicians in the treatment clinic too. For some patients. We're just doing what's known as palliative care, relieving or reducing suffering. Maybe we can shrink a tumor a little bit so it isn't pressing on a nerve and causing pain. Maybe we can reduce a mass in the neck that's blocking breathing or swallowing. It's improving the quality of life for the final months or weeks. Not extending life. This isn't some sort of scheme to rack up bills or make insurance companies rich. This is to make the time someone has left meaningful. So they can be with their family and not live out a couple months on a respirator or an opioid haze. It's not that this is a secret from the patients. But I think the general public that hasn't been through it first hand or with a family member isn't aware. And no. We aren't keeping the cure to cancer from you. We used to completely make up the astrology section in our local paper. Our reporters would take turns writing it. Financial aid admissions for college. If your second choice school gives a better rate package. Share it with the first choice. They might match it. Don't be a big dig if they don't, for example. You might be a superstar at second choice but more middle of the road at your first choice school. Or they just might not have the funds. But some schools will try to improve your package. Especially if you aren't arrogant about it. Do not send your enrollment deposit in before the deadline. Some schools won't give merit awards to prospective students who are already committed. They want to use those dollars efficiently and they are better spent trying to convert students who aren't yet in the bag. This isn't anything you can act on. But just an interesting fact, sometimes scholarships, and even admissions offers, are offered to students who wouldn't get them otherwise. But the college really wants one of their high school classmates and it would cause issues with community counselors law if the other students don't get similar treatment. The person you call for tech support when you have a computer problem is looking up your problem on Google. It costs Coca-Cola 6 cents to make a 600 milliliter bottle of Coke. I work at Melbourne Airport on the vending machines where that same bottle retails for $4. I know what's really in my cribs. Also get paid for working around 10 minutes per HR. X hardwood installer. Most products from lumber liquidators are garbage and were never made to be walked on. You can Google and fix 90% of the problems you're having with your computer. Calling it is probably a waste of your money and our time. But we. We get paid. Paramedic here. Calling 911 for bullshit reason thinking it will automatically get you an ER bed just because you came by ambulance will the majority of the time get you a seat in the lobby. Along with a huge ambulance bill at your insurance. Medicaid. Or Medicare will probably not pay due to no medical necessity. I will make sure of this as I have to fill out a Medicare Medicaid questionnaire for every call. I will mark no medical necessity. Just saying. I've worked in retail for almost 10 years I currently work at, large luxury clothing retailer. If you make a big enough scene. We pretty much have to do whatever you want. X, grandma gave you a sweater she held on to for 2 years with the tags on it but no proof of purchase? Freak out. A manager will probably bend over backwards to give you some sort of store credit. It's not my fault that we don't have your size in stock. I only work there 2 nights a week. I'm paid to be nice to you. It's my job. Please don't ask out employees, unless it's super blatant that they are hitting on you. But if I smile and say hi the moment you walk in the store. That's so I don't get fired. Also. We hate all of you. Most of you. Especially over Christmas. It's not my problem that you woke up for Black Friday sales and are in a bad mood. How do you think I feel? I had to get up and listen to you complain. On a personal note. I hate it when people steal. As a sales professional. I work closely with loss prevention to make sure you aren't stealing switching tags. J. Just because you don't see a big dude in a suit watching your every move. Doesn't mean that we aren't watching. I've personally helped LP catch many thieves. And I'm proud of myself for it. Added bonus. If the information I give to LP helps them stop you from stealing. Extra dollar sign in my paycheck.